after you do an oil change on your vehicle, you're gonna have to reset your engine oil life monitor. I wanna show you how you can do that on any vehicle extremely easily with one simple tool. And you don't have to worry about going into the menu in the car to do it. Some cars are easier than others, but if you got an older car, like from the 2000s, when these oil life monitors started to come out, um, they can be kind of difficult, you know, different ways you could do it. You'd either have to turn the lights on three times while the ignition was in run or pump the gas pedal a few times, um, all kinds of different ways on different vehicles. I'm gonna show you a way you can do it on any vehicle really simply. So you can see our engine oil life is at 0%. And on a newer vehicle like this, it is fairly simple to do it just through the vehicle's menu. But if you do have an older vehicle, like I mentioned, that's where this trick is really gonna help you out. So I've got this tool from launch plugged into my OBD2 port. This is the CRP429C. This tool has a whole bunch of different functions. The one I'm gonna be using today is the reset function. So we're gonna go in there and then you're gonna see the oil reset right here. So we're gonna select that, hit okay. Okay, what we're gonna do is then select the make of our vehicle. In this case, we've got a GM. It's gonna tell us to switch the ignition on, okay. So then in here, we can select the software reset. It'll do an automatic scan. Just gonna have to turn the ignition to on. Hit okay, okay. So we've read now that our oil life is at zero. Then you can enter in what you'd like it to be being an all Android based scanner, it's just like your phone, hit OK. And now you can see we are now at 100%. So super easy to do on any vehicle, just a couple key inputs. And that's the way you can reset your engine oil life monitor on any vehicle, no matter what it is. Now this tool has a ton of other functions. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of other reset functions. So I'll be doing a bunch of different videos on this tool. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And hopefully this video helps you out if you work on a wide variety of vehicles.